Hey Vikes, I'm Gage. And I'm Sage. And this is Seaman Viking Television. We are making stories by teens for teens. Creating a platform, finding character, and giving others a voice. This is SVTV. Shawnee North Community Center will be hosting a children's shopping spree on December 14th. If you have any questions, call Kim Atchison at 785-251-6849. Students who would like to join the Writing Center and staff next semester should see Ms. Sands in room W7 for an application. They will be due on three, at 3.05 on December 17th. The Boys and Girls Club of Topeka are looking to hire part-time employees for their before and after school program. Second semester late start seniors, you might want to consider this opportunity. If you're interested in applying, go to the Boys and Girls Club website. Sharp final waivers were passed out Monday and Tuesday. Washburn Tech students, turn your waiver into the front office before you leave on Friday. Everyone else needs to turn them in this Friday during lunch. Does your family have an amazing holiday light display? Please contact Miss Riley or drop by C2 to be featured on Seaman News. Friday the game theme is Ugly Sweater. Following the game, FBLA will host the Ugly Sweater Dance from 9.30 to 11.30 in the West Commons. The cost is $5. If you procrastinate studying, join Student Council in the library on Monday from 4 to 7 p.m. for cookies, cram, and cocoa. Teachers will be available to help. Now over to sports after this quick commercial break. Ethan, I mean Elias. What are you doing, man? I mean, right, right, right. What is it? Ugly sweater dance. What do I need to bring? Well. That's what ugly sweater. <laughs> the ugly sweater dance is this Friday from 9.30 to 11.30, or whenever the basketball game ends. It cost us $5 to get in. Hope to see you there. On Friday at 1.15, Naya Brown will sign a letter of intent to play softball at Johnson Community College. Congratulations, Naya. Bowling tryouts at Westridge are from 3.30 to 5.15. Choir concerts at 7 to 8.30, and the math league test is from 1 to 1.35. Now for Josh to discuss our atmo atmospheric conditions. Well, it was another cold start to the day, but here's some good news. Highs this afternoon will reach the upper 40s by 3 o'clock. How's that sound with a lot of sunshine to go along on your Wednesday and then temperatures falling back down into the lower 40s by this evening. Looking ahead now at the next few days, an even bigger warm-up is on the way. Thursday and Friday, mid-50s with a few more clouds and then... The bottom drops out on Saturday, 36 degrees is the high, and despite plenty of sunshine, it is going to be a very cold weekend coming up. Now, we have been talking about a potential winter storm. Here's a look at the latest data, but I'm not very confident in this at this moment. There could be a series of storm systems coming in. One Friday night that could produce a flurry, another one Saturday night that could produce a flurry, or maybe some accumulating snowfall. Here's a look at Saturday night. Then Sunday, this model has snow in southern Kansas. It could be in northern Kansas, or it might not be there at all. Hopefully, we'll have this figured out by Friday so I can give you a better look at this. But we do have slightly higher confidence in perhaps some more snow coming in late Sunday night and into Monday. So this could impact travel on Monday. Still too far away to say that for sure. So here's a look at the forecast confidence 
as a whole. In terms of the cold weather, that is a lock at this point. We are pretty much certain that highs will be in the 30s this weekend, so confidence is high in that. Now, in terms of the snow, Early we had a rain snow mix in the forecast. Now I think it will be cold enough to support all snow. Moderate confidence, still only about a 50% chance. And then the track timing and amounts of this, very low confidence. So we'll hopefully, again, have a better forecast for you by this time on Friday. Here's a look at the seven day forecast. You can see, enjoy that warm up while it lasts because our temperatures take a tumble for the weekend and into next week. Now, back to your anchors. Unfortunately, that's all we have for today, Vikes. We didn't complete our social media story. Have a great rest of your day, Vikes.